What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. This is around of where we left off last time. Uh, we are pushing this force southwest to go and clear out the last remaining Swedish troops from the port. And that means we will be in an excellent position to uh, attack and secure Copenhagen. We've got most of the Swedish fleets bottled up so they can't actually interfere. There is a Russian stack over here, which I don't like the look of, but we don't really have the naval assets in place to uh, deal with them. However, we'll likely respond with a action from our garrison because they can't land anywhere and attack us in 110. But the main priority is come and destroy this armament elf Lidstrom. So without further ado, let's crack on and take them out. So there is likely to be a couple of very significant battles towards the back end of this uh, war with Sweden as we squeeze their forces further and further west as we come in from the east and what we need to do is when we push our armies west what we want to do is create a reasonable defensive position to ensure that uh, Russia does not surprise us so let's deploy our men in a fairly uncontroversial pattern. Let's put some grenadiers in the centre. Guard mode on. Another unit of guns. Got our left flank secure. Our skirmishers can... Well, they could go up front. But it always... It, nah. I never like doing that, but it always feels a bit risky. Um, feels like you're asking for your skirmishes to get shot to bits by either your artillery <coughs> sorry about that or your um, infantry so split my howitzers up deploy our cavalry on either flank get everyone in the center and let's light them up So all of my power is going to aim at the 12 pounders. We are likely going to want to push up. It's probably a bit late for my guys to deploy. Yes, it is late. Too late. Deploy my heavy cavalry. Well, no, it's not too late, actually. Let's run my light infantry away. They're deciding they're not going to follow. Come on, lads, reload. If these men want to try it, my uh, Jaegers will likely oblige. <laughs> yeah, they didn't actually make it to the spikes. So let's push up. If we're doing that, then this artillery needs to be in square formation. You know, this artillery needs to fire a round shot. A square formation. My light cavalry intercept the general's bodyguard. Push up our heavy cavalry. Caught the general. Who are these guys? 24th foot guard Sprengt Regimenti. Pretty neat. The Vasotkadal Regimenti. Yeah, they look pretty neat. Retarget my artillery and my skirmish is going to have a great time with that foot infantry unit. Charge my heavy cavalry in, ready to intercept the regiment of horse. 
who's that back there? There, the general's bodyguard. Let's move my light cavalry up. There we go. My veteran heavy cavalry is going to love them. Skirmishers. It's too bad they got these weird, funny noises. <laughs> They're still every bit as devastating, I assume. Bodyguards come back in. Eh, let's take my heavy cavalry and get them to. Uh, I was going to say chase down the the infantry, but really, I suppose the better call might be just to intercept the general's bodyguard, turn off all my artillery. goes the general's bodyguard. Push these men up. Get my round, get my field artillery to engage this unit of irregulars. So they're not going to be able to stand. The skirmishers, they've lost a lot of men, and there they go. They are shattered. As the artillery is pounding in. go. Good stuff. So that's one force in Scandinavia destroyed. For the loss of 125 men, that's pretty good. Port is secured. We can't repair it, but let's get another round of actually, our replenishments. Our replenishment is fine. This force is in a position to lay siege to Copenhagen. They do have ships that can do some damage. Let's send our sloop back into Rotterdam. So these men are ready. They want to force a crossing. We've held them off at Strasbourg. And we're replenishing there. You may... Well, I suppose we've got... So who's back here? Okay, may as well build this into a bigger force. How much are we do? How are we doing on the economy side? Forty-two thousand. Still not a that's not a huge amount per turn. Let's hop over to the Americas. Ah, oh, yes, we're still sieging this territory. We may as well. We may as well just keep sieging them. Um, they, they will get destroyed on the battlefield if they try to push out, so that's our best option, I think. So we do have some ships in the Caribbean, but not enough to really fight off the Mughal forces. Hmm. I still think our best option is to drive north entrap the Swedish army and then destroy them while at the same time fortifying these passages to the east from Russia because we have got we have a peace with them but it is a temporary peace I would like some of them to drift just a bit too close to Vito Spero from a tech standpoint we're gonna get machined rifling and shrapnel shot plus uh, shortened carbines there really is not a lot else that can be done, so let's hit end turn. Ah, this army's coming back. I might even sail them around and try and hit uh, Berlin with that force. Let's just move my little foam cradle thing off of my desk because it might make too much noise. We do have an uneasy peace with the Ottoman Empire. You can see they do have a significant amount of troops that can cause a lot of problems if they're able to break out. Nah. At least they're recalling all their agents. It's going to cause a bit of a religion problem through my central states. 
But that's why I've got seminaries spread throughout to ensure that good Catholic standards are being maintained. Yeah, they're going to try something with that fleet. They're, trying, they're making sure that I can't take it out. They're hauling back their Orthodox priests as well. So this is the big one. I hope they drift close enough that we can take them out, but it looks like they're not going to let us. They're marching back towards Copenhagen knowing that I'm going to siege the capital, but there's nothing they can do about it. Their forces are pulling back from around Prague. They do have options to deploy troops by sea, but I don't think they're going to uh, take that option up. To be honest, I may push my army up from near Paris towards Cologne. Not Cologne. Uh, Brussels, that's it. If they're not going to give us the opportunity to do what we would like, which is destroy them in a river battle, then at the very least, that's two stacks of troops. We can defeat them in a defensive battle. Steam powered cloth mill has been destroyed. You men continue to replenish. Let's repair the seminary. This is all the damage done from that raiding force. So you men replenish. So I believe our zone of control does mean they can't cross this unless they decide to sally their fleet. But we can put their capital under siege. We can continue the recruitment of men here, and it will just be line infantry for matters of cost. So they've got three artillery pieces, so they want two infantry. There we go. You will be enough to destroy them in the field. So we do have an army here to demand the surrender of Finland. And then that means there are no Swedish territories north of us. We do get good visibility then now across through the Gulf of Finland. And this force is out of backup to all the strength, so we can march them out and put this force into Breslau to act as a small garrison while we put Dresden under siege I think that's the call to make this army can't leave at some point we do need to go and hit Bavaria but that will require a lot of men to be honest probably both of these armies Spare cavalry, you go to Hungary. Upgrade the Jesuit College. Obviously, you've got raids, and that's fine. We've unlocked shortened carbines. You're continuing your recruitment. Five units, three, four, five, plus three units to get something a bit more. There's some garrison guards. Okay. So if we decided to put Brussels under siege, we would want to bring up two armies for that fight. So if I put you, put them under siege. And this force can march up to reinforce. These units combine. That has left a slight gap in our lines. 
but I think it's probably worth doing, and even this might be worth doing as well. Pushing up this army into a threatening position. We do have troops back here doing nothing that could otherwise be useful. But I think we've got to start to knock out some of these enemy armies. Which means we've got a number of sieges to fight. So let's fix this farmland. Let's get this spy over here to try and get some visibility in this region down here that I can't quite see. So unfortunately you're not fully replenished. So it'd be nice to then put Berlin under siege as well. <clears throat> Let's upgrade this to steam engine factory and iron mines. You are a bit of a reserve back here, just keeping an eye on stuff. Obviously this force here is acting as a garrison for Istanbul, because they will bur um, the Ottomans will never truly let us have it. Let's also check we've not got any regions exempt from tax, because we need... Aha, Madrid, eh? Good. Give me as much income as we can. We do have some areas where we can upgrade roads to improve our profitability. But let's go for let's go for Prague first, I think. Let's go and destroy this Swedish force here in the city. So this will be quite a significant blow for Swedish strength. And they should start to really be struggling from a financial standpoint because they won't have a very good tax base at all. The AI does cheat when it comes to paying for their armies but that but this that only works so far hello it's a eastern style city who did you conquer that off of so as we've as we can see we've got no actual field artillery Let's deploy these men way back. We've got five men to push through the centre. Or to push through the breaches. We've got our cavalry, our quite elite cavalry now. And our general. And limber the guns, they're all going to fire round shot because they're all going to focus on getting us away in. But it's nice to know we are within range of the sensor with round shot. All these cavalry. Royal Crassier guards, I saw that. Some nice elite cavalry. That I would like. I would love to drop some nasties through the wall. They're after going after my general, it would appear. Let's speed up time, because I want to ideally knock two holes in the wall to spread out their forces, start quick climbing the forces that come in to defend the breach and then start to drop some round shots on the uh, the centre. They have no reinforcements so there is no concerns in that regard. To be honest I might start doing this now actually. Let's pick the 32nd regiment Attack the centre with round shots. So my two 24 pounders can attack the troops, the 12 pounders can continue to make the second breach. So this is the 12 pounders dropping quick lime shot by the looks of it, yeah. I want to see some of the first some of the first round shots to land in here. 
They're inbound, I think. Oh! That is a devastating shot. Look at all these dead horses. Are they moving their artillery? They're under missile attack and they don't like it. That's for damn sure. It's interesting they are still mostly lining against our assault forces. More shots in the centre, more cavalrymen are going to die. Yes, yes. Must have been. Oh, it was two misses. Two misses short. Let's speed up time because right now we are just focusing on making more spaces in the. making more breaches. This artillery is doing an okay job attacking the uh, the cavalry in the centre. I mean, I could, I think, technically quick line, but I think round shots probably effective enough for, what, for our purposes. Okay, see some of them firing long, firing short. They are getting some sporadic kills, but I would like a few more. Just the same as I would like. Well, a this sec this breach to be made in order to allow us to redeploy. Looks so like they had a quick line hit come in. Yeah, they did. Because when this breach is made, there we go. So let's get two of our howitzers to attack the centre. Let's get one of these howitzers to start attacking the militia. Should you attack the Grenadier Guards? Let's soften up the troops. Ooh, some good hits there. Foot, the field artillery is very upset. As the quick climb comes in. Miss the Grenadier Guards, it's a pity. Let's keep doing damage and hopefully draw more men away from the our line of assault. Line infantry guards and militia line infantry. To be honest, it looks like our push through the front might be the uh, the main effort, it would appear. Push my men up. See if we can spur some of their cavalry to actually deploy. Let's get my 12 pounders that are currently not attacking the centre to attack closer to the breach. These men have stacked up quite nicely. There's the unit of riflemen. They got hit. More artillery lands in the centre. See, if you're playing to win, like, properly, then what you'd probably end up doing is just sitting here, bombarding the centre, kill all their cavalry, and just don't attack till you've very much weaken them, which we have weakened them, but you could do that even more. Because the defending forces are a bit stuck. It looks like they're going to, they're more than happy to sit here and take damage. They really don't want to deploy these men away from the walls, but I'm afraid I am more than happy to just leave this, leave these men so stood here until we pick them apart and they can't actually stop us. 
they have to make a call about where they want to uh, actually defend. Because right now, these men aren't great. Let's speed up time a little bit. So let's not speed up too far. Mm, it's still funky. Okay, so let's retarget some of my... God, see, look, they, they are really... They are being thinned out massively. Let's push these men up to try and secure a position on the wall. Let's keep our heavy howitzers focusing on the grand air guards. Or one of them. Push one unit up to try and lay siege to the men on the wall. That was a good hit. Whoa. Okay, no, don't do that. Pull back. It looks like they might be about to sally out of the breach. Which would be a pretty good outcome. They've pushed up to the breach. Those militia, though, they, they're they stuck. Well, here they come. Yeah, the cavalry are just sat there. They're quite content. This unit's not firing. There we go. Bombard the centre. You men are going to have to do something. You're not being very useful up there. Okay. Doing some good stuff against the guys on the wall, but ultimately they're not going to win. Let's switch... Let's get units a round shot. Let's take the 153rd. Push them into the breach. These men are more than happy to climb up onto the wall. Let's get our cavalry over here. Let's go send you guys around to secure the wall. You, your men should carry on climbing because there is no other way in. Send one wave of infantry in. I mean, you should. They're making fantastically bad pace, but still making progress. The cavalry have deployed. At what cost? Try and push out, because it looks like they're definitely going to try and do it. They're very much going to get bogged down. These men are trying to charge my infantry, which shouldn't work, but it looks like it is, because these men are going to try and take a shortcut. But if I do that, yeah, you men will drop into square. My cavalry is still on the move. Their infantry is finally realised. So let's continue dropping in our artillery support. So you have heavy cavalry coming out to play. Yeah, they're definitely abandoning the walls now. God damn. 
friendly fire, I know, but... It's a lot of men, if you can get a quick climb shot right in there. Good, these men are going to take up firing positions and engage the Grenadiers. I mean, they've been weakened. Oh no, looks like they're going to change their mind. You guys dump into square because those are heavy cavalry. Looks like we've had some quick climb go in there. Oh, there's even more. That's it. It's very much friendly fire territory. Try and pull these men out. Now these engineers have recaptured the walls. A bit of a bummer, but eh. But they've abandoned this section of the wall. So then these three units can take up positions beneath the wall. And get ready to assault. So that infantry is probably going down. It's going to be trying to defend against a unit of guards and a unit of grenadiers. push these men up into the wall, up into the, uh, up into the defensive position as well. Let's pick our, pick our targets a bit more cleverly again, including the potential for some friendly fire over there. It was only a matter of time before they realised they had to abandon this wall to go and defend the rest of the fort, which is why I pretty much just didn't didn't want to move these guys. I wanted to give them no reason to uh, do anything else. But now I can run my cavalry in. These men can form. Blocking position there. You men charge the armory. These guys attack the guerrilla mercenaries. Push these men in. So those guys are going to have a great time against the mercenaries. Good stuff. And this cavalry is, good, is definitely good enough to overmatch the provincial cavalry standing on the square. We've taken this gatehouse as well, so now this unit can charge in. You men engage the line of infantry guards. You men stand here to fire by rank into the men in the breach. That's what you guys are going to do as well. Also attack the line infantry guards. Provincial cavalry will not win against my regiment of horse. You, if you've got no one, you do have people caught on the breach or caught in the gatehouse, so you're not going to be super duper useful. This 
Dance Regiment, of course, some reasons running around the outside. Let's kill these remaining cavalrymen. So these guys aren't firing because there's a guy who's stuck here. To be honest, a lot of units have got men stuck. So they're not going to do anything super offensive, they're just going to stand still, but it looks like they've all broken except for this guard engineer unit that's... You can see, they were winning, but uh, because the rest of their comrades are broken, the men have broken as well. So that's one city down. A good heroic victory there. The army is completely destroyed. And they seem to welcome their Italian overlords. Let's fix, let's try fix the government building first, but of course we can't fix them all. You might be a bit tricky because I don't... Okay, hold on, maintain siege. Who is in command of this garrison? Okay, maybe I don't want to attack because it is going to call in the garrison right on our flank. So I might actually hold off here and let Siamo pronti. push you up as a bit of a reinforcement. Is there any universities here? There's a College of Divinity. That can go. Becoming more Protestant because of the College of Divinity. But we're going to deal with that. I suppose let's take this chap with his fairly new force and let's go and do the same against Copenhagen, the new Swedish capital. They will not be allowed to, uh, <laughs> to, to breathe. We will continue the attack. Although I suspect after this, this assault probably the... It's not the last battle, because there's another battle near Stockholm we can fight. But this is probably going to be the last siege, um, just because we don't have the the finances to repair all the buildings in quick order and do replenishment. Okay, it's more, it's more of a European feel to it. So to go through the breach, let's have the plate unit and the selection of infantry and our guards and elites are going to go... Ooh, I can hide them all in here. And they are all hidden. Keep our cavalry a bit more flexible. can drop quick climb shots near the center if we're in range I can drop them which lots of my heart is already engaging I'll allow it these guys are gonna focus on getting us a breach it looks like they focus on the artillery as well But not... Okay, if you guys want to hit anyone... Hit that damn... Regiment of Mortars. If you want to kill any, any of them. Because they are going to be quite the pain. Doesn't matter if you destroy the Mortars. What matters is is the crew alive, because they will run around firing from nothing. Come on you guys, reload. How long does it take to ram a quicklime shell home? There we go. The volley's away. They're not even... I mean, I know they weren't in range, but... Generally, they do try. OK, 
think if one of them can engage the mortar battery, it might be smarter to use the others for normal duties. In order to try and facilitate a relatively quick assault. And to be honest, the fact that this well, this side of the city is completely undefended, I might push in now. Because the cavalry can't really do anything about it, the artillery can't do anything about it, all the infantry is already aligned towards the front. Killed one crewman. Devastated the 19. Let's get two of them hitting the mortars. Keep one of them attacking the other fronts. You guys form a blocker. Charge, my men. As my foot artillery decides to stop firing for some unclear reason. This unit form square. And light cavalry sharpshooters are coming out. They're not happy. They're deploying militia to stop us. But the more time they give us, the more men we can get on the wall. You just get in. These three just get into position. The marines attempt to capture the, the command building. Get ready to drop these men in a series of square formations. these men to run and secure the gate. Charge the men. Okay, you guys abandon square and also start to climb up this wall. Actually, no, don't abandon square because they're coming out. Deploy my cavalry up here. So my marines are going to secure this gatehouse. Nail our cavalry over here because they're now going to attempt to probably interfere with our assault up the walls. These men are going to stay where they are hunkered down.
these men push up. Militia are upset because they're dying so dying so quickly. Let's try to get my marines into the command HQ. Well, they're realistic. I don't know how easy that's going to be beyond running run them into here and then drop them into square formation. <laughs> that might be the next option, really. These men want to charge out, they're more than welcome. I've got my heavy cavalry out here waiting for them. I'd like to get my men up into the into this command HQ to f start firing in all directions. If they'll let me do that, I don't know. I'd like to give it a go. Another unit can deploy here. You guys run. Pikemen have been routed. That's a bit of a bummer. But what I want is to get one unit out into a square like that or two i can get two units into a square as long as i get one unit into this command hq building and they can fire in all directions and do a lot of damage deploy the cavalry focus my quick lime howitzers onto this unit of line infantry There we go. So my infantry inside the building can fire in all directions. They've already killed... Well, the general's already dead. Although he's probably charged out, maybe. They're, low, they're only light cavalry, so they're not... The A-team. My, my artillery hasn't fired. It's the last order I gave them, because they've decided to start attacking something else entirely. It's very strange. Bring my pikemen back. My marines are taking their time because they're all trying to go up one ladder. These men can get out from behind the, the square. Get around to the flank and begin to engage. Artillery still electing not to shoot at that section of the wall. It's very odd. Keep engaging these penny packets of units, just keep killing them. Oh, I didn't drop these guys into square like I should. Okay, let's take a howitzer's name at the 13th. one unit run one unit over to this gate to capture it let's just ignore that last infantryman good my line infantry guards are holding the square 
Command HQ is being engaged. So we need to be careful. One more volley. And we've destroyed the enemy. And we've destroyed the wall. So you kill that last man of the 19th. All our characters engage get ready to engage the 23rd. The wall is down. Pull my men in. Swiss guards are a bit vulnerable here. Just make ready, engage. trying to pick off my marines. To be honest, if I do this, they should abandon the, the entire effort completely anyway. Swiss pikemen charge that infantry unit, stop the quickline fire, although some shots have come in. That's pretty handy. These infantry units can get immediate orders to charge the artillery. And men are wavering. We've got the gatehouse. I can pour my cavalry in. Still got the pucker guns going, although they're just a bit pants. There we go, mass bayonet charge. Charge the puckle guns. want my cavalry to get in, but it looks like they're procrastinating at the doors. Not that it's going to cause too much... too many problems. Let's get these guys out of square. And just engaging the artillery, defending the central positions. They do still have men near the, the breaches, but the problem is, is that they've, uh, it's not enough. Send my cavalry to go kill the men that are trying to hold out my, my offensive, although I might kill a bunch of my own men by accident. Any men we do lose will be for the greater good. Especially as it looks like we are going to... Uh, successfully capture the uh, town square. Yep, yeah, these line infantry are firing and then we cause a nuisance. Let's charge this regiment of foot along the wall and engage them. So let's just speed up a little bit of time. They're probably going to break as a garrison very, very soon. Yeah, these men have been engaged in melee combat. The grenadiers are going down. 
hard and fast. There's line infantry units going down. It's tough. Oh, there we go. They've broken. And they've broken. The forces of Copenhagen have broken under the forces of the Italian states. Lost a thousand men, but we took the city. Now we do have this guy just outside. I never really get what that means. Why that unit sat inside the city like that, but not part of the garrison. But it's okay. If they fancy attacking us, then we can just sally and destroy them. It's only some Hussars rockets and grenadiers. Not particularly strong. I probably like you guys to get, to get a bit of replenishment. This guy, this force can't do anything too dangerous. And the garrison back here is only getting stronger over time. Oops, so Denmark was captured. So then this sloop that currently served a good purpose now no longer does, so he can get into port. Key is now these forces can't these forces can't cross over and attack us. I think I'm gonna hit end turn. <laughs> Watch all my priests get closer. I don't that army that's currently sat there in uh, North Africa, I don't even think I'm gonna move them. I think they are gonna stay there as a bit of a flexible response force. Because right now I don't think I've got that much of a, a need. To do too much with them. Yep, if you men want to go home, you have to go home via Russia. They should be suffering a lot from uh, unrest as well as religious, religious unrest. Because we have had a cleric or a priest over there converging the population for some time. go the Russian Navy. Okay, so this is the big one. What are these guys going to do? Some of the troops are actually going to leave. They're going to leave Brussels. Well, they have to, I suppose. They've got too many, too many fronts. Good. Then we can attack Brussels, and I might even send one army around to try and siege uh, Amsterdam. I think they are rapidly running out of options. So they can they can they can run men around like that and be annoying little scamps, but they're not gonna do any serious damage. Hey, the garrison at Paramaribo are going to Sally, but looking at the timer, that'd put us pretty far over. So what I'm gonna do is end the episode here. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for uh, another slaughter of uh, pretty low quality troops. Cheers everyone.